Good morning, everyone. My name is Ayumi Tamset. I live in central New South Wales, a small town called Gugandra. I'm a school chaplain at Gugandra High School. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for your prayer and ongoing support for this ministry. And so I just thought I might start off with some of the highlights that I have um, doing a chaplain job. So I have a really exciting ISCF group happening this year at Gugandra High School. Well, we started off about 18 months ago with um, maybe 12 students and I thought it was a good number. But over the weeks, um, just re really within a few weeks, um, 12 grew to 20 and now we have um, up to 30, 32 students on a good day. And it's um, year between year 7 to 12. Uh, it's really exciting to see our children, our students, um, voluntarily come to this uh, lunch group on Thursdays. And so what we do is we have a Bible session, um, good discussion group, and we play games, we muck around, and we eat lots of chocolate and cake and ice cream. And I think that's a highlight for the students. But um, yeah, they just continue to come and hang out and they find this space to be a safe place which is really, really lovely because there are a um, couple of kids who are just a little bit socially awkward on the playground. But um, yeah, coming to this place that they obviously feel safe and non-judged. And I have um, seven really committed um, leaders. They're not all Christian, but they really like the leadership skill that they can learn. And they've gone to an ISCF conference um, down in Blue Mountains um, this year. And they're still learning a lot about um, what it means to be good leaders, what it means to follow Jesus themselves, what it means to demonstrate their faith, and also learning what it means to trust in God. So you can keep praying for this group to uh, grow, not necessarily in number because we do have a lot of them, but uh, more in their uh, understanding, the depths of their knowledge in the Lord Jesus Christ. So I would really appreciate your prayer for that one. Another highlight of uh, my time at Gugandra High School is I teach scripture. So I have four lots of scripture classes weekly. And um, as you might know, um, scripture attendance in country town is actually quite high. So I have 25 students in one class. And uh, we've been looking at the book of Jonah this year. And a great opportunity really for kids to have a look at what the Bible has to say about life and um, their identity and you know as they go through such an important time of their period for them to really explore oh, what is life for me what does that mean for me to uh, trust something or someone apart from themselves so uh, really I'm, I'm praying that um, they will make a good decision for their lives because they really struggle with sort of um, identifying who they are and also what is it for them Many of you continue to pray for um, the rain here, and we really thank you so much for that. Um, this drought has been really, really difficult for the communities and also community here and also around. Um, they said that it's the worst um, drought in 150 years, and um, I can see the ripple effect, and it's really affecting um, well-being of students, not only just farmers and their families, but also students and well-being as the uh, drought carries on um, financial pressure is one thing but also the um, mental health and all of that is really becoming quite visible um, small small businesses shutting down due to i guess a lack of uh, money in town and it's uh, like a really bad cycle so please pray that this drought will come to the end very quickly as for my family, um, I'm married to Presbyterian minister, um, Peter. He's really actually a good looking man. Uh, he's a Presbyterian minister here in Gilgandra, but he also looks after two churches, Tirovina and the Galagambon Presbyterian Church. We have four children, Luca, Micah, Liam, and Hannah. Luca started uh, high school this year, and Micah uh, following Luca, so he's gonna start high school next year. Um, Liam year four and Hannah year two, they're very energetic children. Um, I would like you to pray for my children as they grow up and um, they have their own challenge. So if you can keep praying for them to have an assurance of salvation that's given to them and for them to uh, form good friendship at school and also at church. Um, some of the um, difficulty 
uh, in this town is I suppose we are very isolated even though it's only six hours out of Sydney it is really isolated so things are quite limited in what we can do however um, our church has a strong youth ministry so this year uh, just over the weekend actually we just finished our annual youth group camp called Berida Camp we had close to 100 students came from Gugendra High School Warren High School, Kunabavaran High School, and then several kids came from the coast. Uh, what we do, it's really, really crazy. So in Sydney, you wouldn't think about uh, getting on the back of the ute and then like racing through the farm and getting off and chasing the rabbits, the wild rabbits. And um, they grab them and they earn the points. And what we have is a um, flower fight. Uh, you might be able to see this in the picture. Uh, there's a sachet, the bag of um, flour as in the cooking flour like a baking and they throw them at each other and they point and so they just score all the way through the weekend and actually my team won this year so yay yay um but they have so much fun um this farm is situated in uh just outside of Gugandra. it is actually bigger than size of Parramatta. The whole Parramatta would fit quite easily in this farm. So we're talking a really, really big scale of land here. But that's the blessing of being country, I suppose. There's no limit. Kids can be so loud and they are really loud. And um, yeah, there's no, um, I guess, worry about running into the bus or truck. <laughs> so kids have a wonderful time here. Um, it is held in the woolshed and um, they just learn a little bit about God each day and we worship together and we have small group and um, yeah they basically they just run around I'm still sore from the weekend just running after the kids um, but yeah praise God for the good ministry that's happening so I just wanted to say thank you for your ongoing support without this and this ministry wouldn't happen but please be encouraged that your support means a lot to a lot of children here because I often talk that my ministry is really um, prayed for and sponsored from churches in Sydney like yours.